The peer-to-peer -peer network architecture will be explored in this module. In particular, we will seek the answers to the following questions. First, what are the characterizing features of a peer-to-peer -peer network architecture? Name some of the application areas of the peer-to-peer -peer architecture. And finally, we will ask the question, what are the two different types of access controls that could be imposed on peer-to-peer -peer networks? In this particular case, we'll be looking at, in the first case, a peer-to-peer -peer network that is set up with computers running the Windows 95 or 98 operating system. And in the other case, we will look at computers that are set up in a peer-to-peer -peer network architecture where the computers may be running either the Windows 2000 client operating system or the Windows XP client operating system. And of course, in addition to finding answers to these questions, we will also look at some of the major factors that, that relate to this functional architecture, such as, for example, where does the application execute? What is the implication with regard to network traffic? What is the cost of operating such a network? And finally, of course, some details on the security and control of the peer-to-peer -peer network architecture will also be discussed. How do we define a peer-to-peer -peer network? It is simply defined as follows. It is a network that does not rely on any server. In other words, you can set up a peer-to-peer -peer network with clients that do not have a server on the network. This is known as a peer-to-peer -peer network. And it is characterized, as we stated, by the absence of a server. And the resources on each of these clients can be shared by any other client. So this, this particular architecture could be called as an architecture that allows share and share alike type of situation. In which case, uh, the resources on each of the clients, as mentioned earlier, can be shared by any other client on the network provided, of course, the client has access privilege to the resources that are being shared. The question is, how do we set up a peer-to-peer -peer network? A peer-to-peer -peer network can be easily set up by using any client operating system. Most of the client operating systems today have a networking component that can be used for setting up a peer-to-peer -peer network. For example, we can have Windows 2000 on this computer and all the other computers may also have the same operating system. We can set up a peer-to-peer -peer network using this operating system. On the other hand, we can set up a peer-to-peer -peer network consisting of clients that operate under different operating systems. In this particular case, we can have Windows XP and we can have, for example, Windows 98 on this computer. Each of these client operating systems has a networking component that will allow these clients to be connected in a network. So once again, we can set up a peer-to-peer -peer network using a client operating system. These clients that are shown here, 1, 2, and 3, they could have the same operating system across the board such as, for example, Windows 98 all across or Windows 2000 Professional. On the other hand, we can have a peer-to-peer -peer network that is composed of a mixture of these operating systems. So what can we say about a peer-to-peer -peer operating system that consists of only clients? Obviously, let's call this client 1, client 2, and client 3. All applications are run on the client itself. Therefore, we can say that all applications are run on the client. The second question we might ask is, 
what is the consequence of this setup on network traffic generally speaking when we set up a peer-to-peer -peer network we set it up for sharing files and printers so network traffic in general would be high and it will also depend on the amount of files that need to be transferred among the different clients number three we talk about the total cost of ownership in this particular case each client is a fully fledged client meaning that we will have a major client operating system installed on the client therefore the cost of maintaining the client is high and as far as the security and control is concerned that's the fourth factor we could say the following each client is responsible for its own security and control there is no centralized security and control therefore we could term this security and control to some extent as being poor it is especially the case when we have the windows 98 operating system whose security features are extremely weak our peer-to-peer -peer network may be more secure to some extent when we have the network implemented using the NT based operating systems such as for example the Windows 2000 professional and the Windows XP operating systems let us now summarize some of the factors that we discussed concerning the peer-to-peer -peer network architecture of course it's simple and inexpensive because it does not involve a server each user manages his or her resources on a workstation uh, as such the user becomes the administrator of his or her own resources there is no centralized control here security is very poor in the case of windows 9x based uh, peer-to-peer -peer networks uh, security is somewhat better when we have a peer-to-peer -peer network that is set up using a client operating system such as windows 2000 of course we could not talk about implementing multi-user applications such as a multi-user database application why is that so because we do not have a server in this case and of course when we talk about applications we really have no potential for expansion uh, basically as we said earlier the peer-to-peer -peer network is good for sharing files and printers now let us uh, take a quick look or summarize the operating systems that could be used for setting up a peer-to-peer -peer network of course we can do it with windows 98 95 and so on nt workstation 2000 professional xp in the case of red hat uh, you have a server version and a client operating system as uh, another version so we can use the red hat linux operating system also to set up a peer-to-peer -peer network uh, for this time, uh, this brings us to the end of this uh, discussion on the peer-to-peer -peer network functional architecture.